Hello and welcome to Fort Grey Shipwreck Museum. We're here in this beautiful building. It wasn't always a museum, of course, and it was previously built here to guard against invasion from the French about 200 years ago on the site of an earlier castle, which you can see in this illustration here. So if we go back about 200 years, this is the sort of scene that you might be met with in Fort Grey which is commonly known as the Cup and Saucer, but it was named after a governor of Guernsey, Grey. Um, many years later, it became a shipwreck museum, which it is now. And here we have the first tickets when it opened in a museum, um, as a museum, in 1976. 15p, a bargain. If we move along, I'd just like to point out a few other photographs. So it was used by the German forces during the Second World War. We have an illustration here. And this was the scene of the, of, of, of the site just before it was restored to being a shipwreck museum. We've got a beautiful musket here, which would have been a common sight in, in the fort in those days when, um, when it was being defended. Here we have some equipments for seafaring and navigation. This one in particular is one of my favorites. This is a ship's log. So this sort of strange space age looking contraption would go in the water and it would spin around and it would have a special timer on it that could tell you how far the ship had traveled and how fast it was going. We're gonna miss out this bit here and the handbar, so I'll do that later. This is always a popular object, probably the biggest one in Fort Grey to be honest, and it's a foghorn which was used at Fort Doyle on Guernsey's north coast. This one always gets a lot of attention. This is a telegraph to send signals as to the speed of ships. And this is a binnacle for keeping a compass inside, which you can see inside there. Radar, of course. These are really cool. These are speaking tubes, brass and copper to communicate within the ship, speaking through them. And then we start learning about specific shipwrecks. So this is a museum to learn generally about seafaring, but also about specific shipwrecks. So on the, on the, on the wall here, we have um, different shipwrecks which have um, met their fate off the west coast of Guernsey or in Guernsey waters. And then that continues downstairs. There's a ladder there up to the top of the fort, but we won't be going up there today.